Hey everybody, welcome back to the Armory. Boy, it's been a rough week, but still here, still kicking, still dreaming about fun and exciting weapons. Today I got a really interesting one. Uh, I ordered a, another uh, P14 Complete Action. Uh, I got it from Old Guns of Idaho. Uh, really neat website, really good people. Um, they got a lot of really neat old uh, firearms. And one of the things they had was a s complete stripped action. Uh, and this is going to be pretty neat. So, uh, a couple of things I wanted to uh, share about this. This one is an Eddie Stone Remington Arms made. Um, it is a complete action, but the serial numbers do not match. Now, this would uh, um, possibly be an issue if it was a complete rifle, because they were uh, they were not perfectly interchangeably parted uh, weapons when they were made. So you had to be careful of manufacturers and whatnot. This one um, appears to be okay, so I'm not too terribly worried about it. Um, these are um, built and designed basically like a Mauser 98 action uh, with a bunch of differences, but uh, the base action is um, very, very similar to a Mauser 98 action. Um, this one was actually listed as a drill and parade um, rifle at one point, and honestly... I'm not entirely sure that's correct. Now, with my other drill and parade rifle, it was stamped up here on the the large shank of the receiver uh, DP, as well as on the bolt and on a bunch of the other miscellaneous metal parts, uh, which aren't included in this. But what I'm seeing is no stamps except for on the extractor. The extractor is labeled DP, but that's the only part on this that is labeled that way. So, I'm not entirely convinced this is a an actual drill and parade action. So, um, is what it is. It's a good action. Uh, it will suit my purpose for what I need to do. And the other interesting thing, and I'm not sure if this is going to pick it up very well, but this has the square threads similar to a 1903 Springfield. Um, as you can see, here's a 1903 receiver, and it's got square threads. And I was kind of uh, a little shocked by that. I, I have never seen this before the 03 Springfield and sure enough, on the pattern 14, it's got the same square threads. Uh, I wonder, and I would almost assume, the model 1917 uh, is probably the same with the square threads. And that also made me wonder about this mystery barrel that I have that has square threads, but the end of it is not finished uh, like an O3 Springfield barrel would be, but, um, yeah, that's not, not the same thread size. So this is a different thread size from, uh, an O3 Springfield, but it is the same thread style. So I found that really, really interesting. Other than that, uh, safety is there and, Safety is functional on this uh, action. Action's real nice and smooth. It's got the rear sight on it, so it was not modified. Uh, it's got the, the bolt stop still in place. This is a pretty complete action, and I'm pretty happy that I found it. And it was uh, very reasonably inexpensive. It was $175.00 for uh for the complete action so uh 
yeah pattern 14 so when we get to uh, these rifles this will be a, a great platform for uh, a nice heavy barrel uh, rifle in 303 British so there you go guys a uh, little bit of uh, knowledge for the uh, P14 and it's a really really good action if you're looking to build a, a nice rifle or whatnot these are out there don't cut up originals uh, go ahead and just start start from scratch build your own rifle it's a lot more rewarding to build a rifle uh, from scratch than it is to uh, to just butcher something uh, there's too many butchered rifles out there um, let's try to save what we can save don't don't add to that but other than that uh, yeah British p14 all right I'll catch you on the next video guys bye